Now we're going to talk about the OpenStack block storage environment, or Cinder as it's called. As in, Cinder block? Get it? Anyways, there's some more of your good OpenStack IT humor. The Cinder project is most easily described when you compare it against the Amazon Web Services Elastic Block Storage. So if you've already looked at cloud platforms, you've probably seen that before. Otherwise, let's just take a look at what it is. So block volumes are actually created and then attached to running instances. These are different than the ephemeral volumes that we talked about earlier. The biggest difference is that block storage volumes survive the termination of an instance. This is particularly important if you have data that you want to have remain persistent in case you wanted to switch out one of your application environments. The easiest way is maybe let's walk through a little example. So over at mycyclingstore.com, we have Clara and she's our web application environment administrator. She decides that she wants to run a CentOS instance in order to create a web application. But knowing that she wants to create persistent storage, she uses Cinder to create a 20 gigabyte block volume and then simply attaches it to the running Nova instance. Now, she decides down the road that she wants to create something a little bit larger. So she does just that. Inside Cinder, she creates a 150 gigabyte block volume and then attaches it to the same original CentOS instance that's running inside Nova. And then along comes Jens and he decides to twist things up. He says, we have to move off of CentOS for our web application environment and we need to move over to Ubuntu. Not a problem. All we have to do in this case is have Clara detach the 20 gigabyte and 150 gigabyte volumes and then she just terminates the CentOS instance, goes in, picks a glance image that she wants, spins up a Nova instance running Ubuntu, and then just simply attach the two volumes to the new running Ubuntu instance. And all the data is still there just like it was before. What's different about the vendor environment in Cinder is that it's very, very active. You'll see this in the network platform as well, but storage, of course, is always an interesting space. There are multiple vendor drivers for the Cinder environment, and the features are very important because there are some features that may or may not be supported. The easiest way to know is to go to the actual OpenStack website in order to check the feature list. You may find some information at your vendor site as well, but it's always good to go to the authoritative source, which is the OpenStack environment. Because of the growing list of features and enhancements that are happening in OpenStack all the time, it's a good plan to actually go back and visit fairly regularly. This is easily done by going to wiki.openstack.org and then looking up the Cinder support matrix. That's the URL right there, easy to go to. And you'll see below, there's the actual header of the table of information that you're going to find. It's gonna list each driver and all of the different Cinder features that are inside the project, whether they're su supported on that particular driver. And it's also gonna show what version of OpenStack they became supported under. So you may see some stuff there that says as far back as Diablo or Essex, or maybe all the way right up to the latest release. Cinder volumes are easy to understand. They're stored in a shared storage environment. This could be a large underlying shared platform that's a physical storage environment, or it could be a logical volume manager, just as simple as that. They're presented into your Nova instances, traditionally using iSCSI. The features that we use to manage them is to attach or detach to your Nova instances. You can also do neat things with your Cinder volumes, including cloning and snapshotting of the volumes. So you can keep a copy for later. You can actually do exciting things where you can boot from a volume and you can even boot from snapshots. There's a lot of really interesting things that are going on in Cinder, so it's gonna be good for you to keep your eyes on what's there and what's coming. 